Hi there. My name is Aaron Landerman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech. And if you're following along with this lecture series on guitar amplification and effects, I want to let you know that for the next couple of weeks, we'll be taking a break from tubes and looking at guitar effects pedal circuits. Before we look at those, I would like to make sure you know some things about operational amplifiers and some other electrical engineering tidbits. I don't keep these lectures about operational amplifiers on the main guitar amplification and effects playlist because I also use these op amp lectures and lectures on basic double E things in my analog circuits for music synthesis class. So I put this material in my ECE design fundamentals playlist. To catch up with my students, what you would want to do is watch the analog information and circuits video. You don't have to watch the Aaron's analog chip collection video, although it is fun. And then you definitely want to watch the three op amp circuits all electrical and computer engineers should know by heart video and the op amp voltage subtractors and superpositional thinking video. The subtraction aspect here isn't very important. This is basically an example to get you to think about superposition with op amps. You don't really need to watch the calculus with op amps differentiation and integration lecture, but if you do watch it, it will give you some insight about how to think about op amps. And then you want to make sure you watch the lectures on passive signal summing slash mixing, whatever you want to call it, and active signal summing slash mixing. So passive summing you can do with just resistors, but active summing you really need op amps. Then you should check out filtering. So watch the passive RC1 pole filters, low pass and high pass lecture, and then watch the active RC1 pole low pass filters using op amps lecture. Then you will be caught up with my students and then you will be ready for the various lectures on guitar effects pedal circuits that I'm going to make. Now, if you don't watch the videos I just talked about, you can still watch those various lectures on guitar effects and still learn some cool stuff, but you'll be able to get the most out of them if you're fully prepared. Oh, and while I'm at it, I also suggest you check out these lectures on circuit protection. And in particular, these involve protecting not just the circuit, but protecting you. So I talk about fuses, grounding, and isolation, some very scary amplifier designs called Widowmakers. These are very dangerous. The also dangerous All-American 5 radio design that the Widowmakers are based on, and some extremely problematic capacitors in some guitar amplifiers that go by the name of death capacitors. Concerning effects pedals, you should check out this lecture about reverse voltage protection. I talk about what's used in boss pedals and talk about the fact that it's not very good.